everyone. I hope everyone is having a great start to their weekend. I'm back with another video. This will be a collective haul along with a what's in my bag. So we'll just start. We'll get right into it. But first of all, I want to thank all my subscribers, new and old. We are slowly making our way to 500. So I'm going to ask that you continue to view, like, and share my videos so we can get there. So we can get into doing the giveaway. I picked up some items from several different places. And I guess we'll just start. No certain order here. First thing, I have a couple of pieces from Amazon. And the first thing would be this cute little Hello Kitty coin purse. I've already opened this stuff up, some of it, to look at it. And I've been playing around with this already. It does not come with this pom-pom. I added it to it. I thought that was really cute. That's the front of it, and that's the back of it. And it has the red zipper on here, and the inside of it is just um, a white material, and it's a soft material, so... I have to be mindful of what I put in here. It's not wipeable. That's the first thing from Amazon. Let's see if I can get her to stand up. And the next thing that I have here is a wallet that I have been back and forth with. I've been looking for one for a while to go with a purse that I have. I'm going to show you that in a second. And I finally found one to my liking. And it would be this um, snakeskin wallet here. And that's how that's made. It has a zipper here on the outside. There. It has some little print on the inside. It looks just like a little geometric pattern. And that's how the inside is made with the one, two, three card slots. You have a slot here along with a side slot here. The ID window. And a slot here behind it. Okay. And this second slide is a mesh material. That's kind of neat. And that's the ID window there. And of course you have, huh, I didn't know that. You have a double compartment here where you will have room to place your uh, money, your cash, receipts, or whatever. That's pretty neat. I didn't know it came like that. And I got this wallet to go with a purse that I have had for a while. This purse came from Shein. You may recognize it from the background of some of my videos. And I've been on the hunt for a wallet and just couldn't find one that I thought went well enough with it. And I think this one goes perfect. I mean, there's a slight variation. This one, the wallet itself does not have white as the purse does, but it's not that big of a difference. So, And while I have the purse, I'll just show you guys. It's just a cute little quick grab and go date night. That's what I would probably be using it for. And I got the boots that match. The boots are the exact exact pattern as the purse as well. And they thigh high. And you just have this little small opening here. I have it stuffed. There's nothing on the inside. Just a black hole. No slots or anything. So I thought it would be cute. Just to go out. Quick dinner date. Lunch date. Movie night. Whatever. Okay. Even though that's not a recent haul item. I'll sit that there with the wallet. Okay, moving along to the next items I have, we'll go with a Poshmark purchase. Well, actually, Macari. I'm sorry. This is a Macari purchase. And I don't know the name of this tote. It didn't come with anything. It was uh, like new. So the person said they had used it once, but it's in real good condition. And it's a zip top tote. And it's not large at all. I'm going to say it may be like 12 by 12, maybe. And that's the front of it, and it's in that uh, black and charcoal print. And the sides of it, and it has this black uh, leather material in the corners on the bottom. That's the bottom. It does not come with feet. And that's the back of it. You do have a zipper here. If any of you know the name of this um, tote, drop it down in the comments for me because I would like to know. I haven't seen one like this recently, so I don't know how old this is, but the bag is in real good condition. I have it stuffed with paper. Okay, so we'll get right into the inside of the bag. Here we do have the back zip compartment there with the coach patch on the inside. And in the front, we just have two slip 
pockets there. Okay. And like I said, this bag is in excellent condition. No flaws that I can see. The handles are in good shape. And I got it at a steal. The, the uh, bag was $30. So she wanted more than that, but she had had it for a while. And I had it on my uh, saved list. And I reached out to her and made an offer, and she accepted. So, yeah, I think this was a great buy for the condition that the bag is in. And I got it. If you watched my last uh, haul video, the unboxing video, I think this would go perfect with it. So, that's why I went on and uh, picked that up. Next, we'll be moving to Ross. And those of you that follow me over on Instagram have seen this bag already. I picked up this cute little fur bag. It's, uh, I don't know the name of it. I didn't have it, information on it. It just says vegan, established 2005. And I picked it up from Ross for $9.99. And they had several of these in the ivory cream color the black color they had a mauvey pink color they even had some little small ones with the top handle which the top handle was fur and it comes with this gold chain which is a crossbody strap but i probably would wear it like this and add another strap to it and just keep the chain tucked in like i have it and on the inside here it's just a black hole there aren't any zippers or pockets and those of you that saw the reel over on Instagram, I'm pretty sure that you had already figured out which one I came home with. Since I do have a love for the leopard print. Okay, next we'll be moving to... I picked up these nails. I said I don't wear nails now due to uh, some of the work that I do sometimes. I just don't have time to put, take them on and take them off for them to keep coming off. But I picked up some more uh, nails. These say feeling frosty and they have different little, uh, some of them are glittery. You have different shades of pinks and some of them have little snowflakes on there. I don't know if it's picking up. And I got this from Ross for $2.99 and it's a set of 24. Okay. Um, let's see what's next. We'll go to Home Goods. And I was on the hunt for this cute little uh, gingerbread cup that has pink on it that everybody's been showing, the, especially in the pink community. I cannot find it. I've been everywhere looking for it. So hopefully I'll come across it. But I did come across this cute Hello Kitty mug. And this is on the larger side. I mean, some of you may drink. <laughs> My husband may drink this amount of coffee. But this is more like a, a little soup mug for me. And that's how it's made with the Hello Kitty on there. And it has the print on both sides. And this was $5.99. And to go along with that, I did pick up this cute little tumbler cup. And it's like, um, it's clear in the inside of it. It's like a green color. The insulator is it's like a double wall. And that's how that's made with the uh, Hello Kitty and the candy canes on there. And it has the red lid on top. Um, let's see if I can get it open. There. And I'll probably add, uh, go to Amazon and get the straws, the Hello Kitty straws to use with this. And this was $5.99 also. Okay, and the next thing I have is another little mug set. I know you guys probably said this girl in these cups, but I do drink a lot of coffee and tea, and sometimes I like to drink out of different ones. Just depends on the mood that I'm in, and sometimes the cup helps set the mood, depending on what's on it. But I did grab this one. I've seen this one shown on several different channels, and it's pink, and it's cute colorful with the pastel colors on there and it's the same on both sides and you do get two mugs for $4.99 so you couldn't beat that okay and the brand is peppermint and pine all right 
And I think that pretty much takes care of the haul portion of the video. So if you guys will give me a second, I'll clear this all out. And I'll be back with a what's in my bag. Okay, we're back for the what's in my bag portion of the video. This bag I had for a while. I haven't used it much and I just recently got the wallet that I have been wanting forever to go with it. So maybe I'll carry it more now. But anyway, here's the information on this bag. This is the signature print Lane bucket bag and it's in the khaki multi. And I did get this bag from the Coach Outlet. And I got it around this time last year. It's coming up on close to a year of me having it. And this is the outside of the bag. It does come with the little uh, chain top handles. And I thought that was really cute. I like the style of this bag. It has the turn lock open and closure here in the front with the little horse and carriage symbol there. I don't know if you're seeing it. There it is. Okay, and it has the terracotta uh, trim. That's the sides of the bag. In the bottom of the bag it does not come with feet it has a zip closure here at the top and that's the back of the bag and it has i like coach's detailing because you can see the coach there on the little rings the little gold rings and i thought that was really cute okay and on the outside here i just have a cute little pom-pom along with the coach hang tag and this bag does come with a crossbody strap, but usually when the bags come with a top handle, I don't use it unless I'm just somewhere where I absolutely need to be hands-free. But we'll get right into it. We'll open the bag up. And this is how I have her packed. Okay, and I'll just start pulling. I have my cell phone case, and I got this from the Coach Retail. I don't have my cell phone in it at the time. Next, I have this wallet that I just showed recently here on a um, haul video. And that's how that's looking. And in this part, I just have my credit cards and store cards. I don't have anything in the cash part there the slot for cash and here i just have my driver's license and my health insurance card and i don't have anything except for the information on the bag inside of this pocket next thing i have is my hand sanitizer holder from bath and body the cute little squirrel with the light on it and my hand sanitizer, which is the leaves from Bath and Body. Okay. Next, I have my corn pouch from Coach. And I'm just using this as my candy pouch. And inside of there, I just have some high chews, cotton candy mint, some caramel chews, and a few soft peppermints down at the bottom. All right, in this bag here, I am using to hold my cosmetics. And inside of it, I just have some Kleenex, which I'm using for a bathroom tissue. I have some Jergens lotion. I have a little container, which I have some Tylenol inside of. I also have my shea butter hand I mean hand butter from Bath and Body I have my Fenty lip gloss and I have my pumpkin spice lip balm and this doesn't have doesn't really have a fragrance and it's just it's clear Next thing I have is my NYX Butter Gloss, and this is the Sugar Glass. 
I have my lip liner. You guys have seen these things before, but some of you may not, so that's why I go through them each time. And my eyeliner. Okay, we get everything packed back in. Okay, and the next thing I have, I just dropped a couple of pins down here in the bottom. This is a stylus pen that I got from the Dollar Tree. And that's the stylus tip there. I just have a couple of pins that I got. Um, this came in a pack from Shein. This came in a pack from Dollar Tree. And this came from Burlington. Okay, and that's all I have in the main compartment of the bag. I'll give you guys a quick glimpse of the bag. You do have a front slip pocket here, which has nothing in it. And on the back here, you do have a zip compartment, which I am using that as my bathroom pouch. I'm holding my bathroom items in there. And I just have the usual things, the panty liner, feminine wipes, wet ones, a couple of band-aids, antibacterial wipes. Okay, get everything set back up so that you can get a look at everything I had packed in this bag. And I like this bag. It's the right size when you're not out doing a whole lot. You don't need to carry too much. But that's it, guys. That's everything that I had in this bag. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a nice comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.